You guys, my phone is literally on a toilet paper roll and a book. Couldn't even make this up if I wanted to, fam. So we're in LA, we just came for a quick trip and also it's our six months and we wanted to do something like different, which is so weird for us. But I'm in LA right now, I'm in the hotel room. Also, I went to TJ Maxx, I forgot socks and underwear. How fam? But I also peruse a little makeup section. I didn't have like a ton of money to just spend, but I did pick up some things and I kind of want to try them out in front of you guys and also just kind of get ready. Last time I got ready in a hotel room, you guys seem to really enjoy it. But I do want to remind you guys, I am not in London. I'm not going to be flapping, kissing, or whatever the F I was doing, stroking. I haven't seen one Rolls Royce since I got here. I did see a BMW though. And I also saw a couple Camrys, 2019 Toyota Camrys, good year. I used to have a Camry before my heap. Also, where's my hair tie? Do you guys like my shirt and my necklace? I bought it at a little store called the Black Daisy Boutique. I'll try my hardest to have it linked down below. It's one of my friend's shops. She's literally living her dream owning our shop and I had to support it. This necklace is the titties, this shirt is the titties. Moisturization, I'm gonna use my Clinique Moisture Surge. I love this stuff. Also, I should have picked up a mirror, but like I said, your girl's on a budget. So I'm just gonna use what I can, what I got. My camera, as forementioned, it's on a toilet paper roll and a book but all of that is on top of the ironing board in mexican we call it the burro desperate times guys desperate times i really want to try this mask because traveling kicks my skin's butt isn't this the weirdest thing it's a rubber mask firming lover we love a firm lover by dr jart it's a single use mask i'm pretty sure there was supposed to be multiple things in here but it got lifted from the shop we're just gonna do the one what is this oh that feels so weird pero que es esto eh? i think i might have tore it i feel like i just slapped a piece of pork on my face my baloney has a first name it's os C-A- uh, I'm actually a vegetarian. This is weird. It feels nice and cooling. I don't know. There's an ambulance. You guys want me to do something for an ambulance? What should I do for ambulances? Dial 911. <laughs> uh, uh. Ugh, this mask is such a Monday. I am done with that. 10 minutes have passed, or have they? Primer! I bought a bunch of like face and eye stuff and a couple of lip products. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of money to spend, but if you guys are interested in me doing a full face TJ Maxx makeup, I will happily do so. I had a lot of fun doing the Marshalls one. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime using some oldies and goodies, these ones. My boyfriend drove for six hours yesterday and then we passed out almost immediately after we got into the hotel room because we were both just stupid, stupid tired. We woke up, had breakfast. I had to go to the pharmacy, but they didn't have a closed pharmacy. So I went to Target. <laughs> what was, what was that? Oh, you guys want to know what happened this morning? My boyfriend found an eyelash in my hair and I brushed my hair this morning and I showered. So how that happened, that's a good question, Bob. For foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and just use one I know. I love that I'm gonna be testing out products that I have never used in my life today. We're actually celebrating our six month anniversary today. It was a couple of days ago, but we're celebrating it today. And we are gonna go out to like a nice dinner. So this makeup is either gonna look real cute or real not. You know what, it's gonna be a test to our true love. If you can't handle me at my reviewing products, then you can't handle me at my Okay. Has anybody watched Toy Story 4 yet? Me neither. Skin is snatched. <laughs> oh, here's a story for you guys. <laughs> so I was at TJ Maxx. And then because they're right next to each other, uh, I went to Marshall's because I couldn't find the socks that I wanted that I always buy, that I always wear at TJ Maxx. So I went to Marshall's. So I was in line at Marshall's checking out, buying my damn socks. And there was a guy in line in front of me and he was talking on the phone. And I don't know who he was talking on the phone with. I'm gonna assume it was his brother because that's who he said it was. And he was like, no, yeah, I'm just checking out. I'm, I had to come shopping. Like, you know how it is, it's the weekend. I just needed to pick up some shirts you know no biggie and i was like not trying to really listen to the conversation but then again homeboy was loud like he really wanted his business to be heard which i don't know why don't ask me i don't know him his name was steve but here they were both talking really loud because i could also hear his brother who he was talking on the phone with and he was like oh yeah word where are you shopping at and 
Homeboy, no joke goes, oh, I'm at Nordstrom. The flip? He was like, yeah, Nordstrom makes my favorite collar shirts. It's like, they just know my fit, they know my wear. Also, they're the only store that carries the brand I like. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but I don't mind it. You know, I drop money for what I like. Flexing fam, like we were at the gym. We were not. We were at a Marshalls. Why the f you lying fam? It was the funniest thing in the world to me. I almost wanted to like yell out something really spiteful. I wanted to pretend I was a greeter. Hi sir, welcome to Marshalls. How can I assist you? Like loud enough though? I will never understand. Like why you why you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, I know you're lying, but you sound excited. And you know that I know that you're lying. Oh Why the fuck you lying? It was just honestly, you know what? It was a tr it was a real treat for me. They must do it for the flexings. I legit forgot my brow pencil, <laughs> so I'm gonna steal my boyfriend's. Nobody tell him. Shh. So we are not the same shade. Okay. I got some stuff for face. <laughs> Mad excited about the stuff for face. So, so I picked up this bronzer from Bare Minerals, which fun fact, I used to work at a store that sold Bare Minerals. So I'm very aware with this bronzer. I don't think I got the one that's in my shade. I got the one that's fair to light. I usually would use the one that was like light to medium, but this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. If I remember correctly, this is such a gorgeous bronzer. It's baked, so it's very natural looking. It's got some shimmer to it, but no shimmer that's gonna make you look muddy. And and even when I worked at the store where I sold this at, I could not afford it. So I got it at TJ Maxx and it was $7.99, guys. I just remember really liking it. Like when I would do my makeup at the store, I would use this bronzer. Not so much a bronzer, if I'm being honest, but it is kind of like a sculpting powder. But it does have a tinge of warmth to it. The thing is though, it looks very natural on the skin. I hate that I don't have like my studio lighting here, but it's nice. I actually do really enjoy this bronzer. When I saw it, I was like, copping. See how it just kind of just sculpts out the jaw? Todd. But I do want and need some more color. Also, like, I just want to look super tan, because why not, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy on. Zope Zaddy. These Laura Geller little palettes, which were eight bucks each, and I think they come with bronzers, which I should have tried those as well. I was just so excited about the Bare Minerals one. That's a very cute blush, I might use that. I like that everything here is like nice packaging and has a mirror, love that. This is the Southampton collection. I don't know which one to use. I think I'm gonna use the Montauk Escape blush. This one just looks way more my steez. It has some shimmer in it, but nothing like too crazy. Okay, so I don't really see myself picking anything up. That's weird. Laura Geller. It's picking up something. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's like I gotta really work for the blush. Mm, she's a cute blush. It's, it is showing up on the face. It just doesn't show up on the brush as much, which is weird. I'm so excited for the highlight. I found this as I was checking out. This was on top of the soda machine. You know how there's like soda sometimes in the blinds or whatever? I saw this on top of the soda machine and I could not believe the price and could not believe what I just got. It was one of those moments where I feel like I stole something, but I paid full price for it, but I also didn't pay full price for it. Anyways, so this is the Becca Volcano Goddess highlight. I live for Becca highlights. Wow, how, how? Brand new, still has a little little protector on it. The most pure gold highlight I've ever seen in my life. Get out of here. Eight bucks. Eight doll hairs. I feel like I stole this. Did I just shoplift? What? The flip fam. There's just, there's no piñas about this. Hijo de puta madre. That is a, that is a whole highlight. I got a liquid lipstick from Marc Jacobs and I also got a kind of like lipstick from Bite Beauty. The Bite Beauty one was $4.99. The Marc Jacobs one was $7.99. So I got hot cocoa from Marc Jacobs and I'm pretty sure this is a liquid lipstick. And then I got caramelized by Bite Beauty. I really want to try caramelized. Maybe later on I'll try the Marc Jacobs one. This is just my steez as of now. Oh, yes. I hate to be right, guys. No, I don't. 
So I don't think this is supposed to necessarily dry matte. And I'm not mad at that because I personally, I love a cream finish. It's not too sticky. It's very creamy. It's very reminiscent of like a MAC cream lipstick, which again, isn't uncomfortable, but you could definitely feel it. It's not sticky or goopy or anything. It's actually quite decumps eyes. I think I'm just going to do a mixture of the Laura Geller and I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm going to stick with what I know, guys. I'm not gonna lie you guys, I feel so lucky right now. This was such a chance video. I honestly was like, this video is going to land or it's going to flop and I'm not gonna have time at all to fix it. I'm gonna be going on a dinner date for my six month anniversary with my boyfriend, either looking like a clown or looking be. I'm, I'm just so happy it worked. You know, the odds were in my favor. So just like a quick rundown, in love with this highlight, seven freaking 99 for a Becca highlight. The Bite Beauty Liquid Lip, I'm obsessed with. These, I can do with or without honestly these are the only things that i was like not very shocking the blush is cute but i mean pretty blah the eyeshadows are blah um if i had to return any products it would probably be it would probably be these two everything else i was pretty wild with um the bronzer as well i'm gonna go ahead and go change now i should do that because i do gotta leave in like 15 minutes and i'm not wearing pants so 